Who's the best player going back to Kentucky next year that we're not talking about right now, but we talk about a year from now? Yeah, Quentin Bohanna, uh, nose tackle, uh, great player. You know, he's stout, big guy in there, uh, makes you know a lot of good plays for us, very disruptive. So, at what point did you realize like he was a guy that was going to be a key player for you guys moving forward? Yeah, very early in his career. You know, he's played since he got there. Um, you can tell he was young a couple years ago. He's obviously uh, come a long way since then, and he's going to be a great player. Last question for you. Who's the uh, toughest player? Not the best or most talented. Guys going to get drafted highs, but the toughest guy you faced in the game this year? Um, probably Grenard from uh, Florida. Yeah, what about he was a good player. You know, he was a nasty, tough guy. You know, he wanted to be in the trenches. He wasn't a uh, you know, pretty guy, so stood out. Thank you. One of your teammates said that you really disliked the procedure I did at the SEC. Yeah, I grew up with three older brothers, so uh, I kind of credit them to uh, that meanness, and um, you know, I try to let it roll over on the field and use it as an advantage. Yeah, I think I'm just a smart guy, you know. Uh, I play the football. I play football very smart and hard and tough. I play it the way it's supposed to be played. And, uh, you know, I think the way the game's going now, it's more, um, you know, cupcake, pretty boy. But, um, you know, I like to play it like it's meant to be played. I've met with most teams. Um, we've had great interviews with all of them. How about the Seahawks? Seahawks, yeah, I met with them yesterday. In those interviews, are teams showing you film? Are they asking you all kinds of questions? What's yeah, it's a little bit of everything. You know, we usually start off with just getting to know me. Uh, after that, they watch my film. They want me to kind of uh, explain what I'm thinking here, what I'm doing, uh, my technique on certain blocks. And then they're showing me their film, teaching me their lingo, their uh, their language, trying to get me to regurgitate, see how quickly I'm picking it up and learning it. In those interviews, I know you had a history with the referees. You even tweeted out after the season. Are they addressing those issues with you, the, the flags, and uh, how, you improve, how you hope to improve in the next level with that? Of course, yeah. You know, they uh, – they like the toughness. They like, uh, you know, playing to the whistle. They like the meanness in me, but they, uh, you know, I can't be hurting the team. And uh, that's something I have to work on at the next level, and I know that. And, uh, you know, it's going to be taken care of. You have to develop a little bit of reputation as a trash talker. Playing in the rugged SEC for Who's the best trash talker you've played against? Um, probably Simmons in uh, 18, Mississippi State. You know, he was a good player, obviously very well, uh, highly ranked. And, uh, you know, he let you know about it. Yeah, coming in, we wanted to change the culture. You know, that was what Coach Stoops had, you know, preached on since day one, and um, I took that to heart. You know, I wanted to change the culture. I wanted us to be uh, the meanest people in the SEC. I wanted the offensive line to be dominant, and uh, I think we achieved that goal. Logan, when you were down at the Senior Bowl and this time in Kentucky, did you get any looks at his own system versus the power? You fit power perfect. Mm -hmm. What's your thoughts on if you got put into his own system? Yeah, I think I feel good. You know, I'll be able to overcome and adapt any system I'm put into. Obviously, at the uh, Senior Bowl, we did a lot of outside zone, which I'm not used to, but I uh, felt like I picked it up quick. You know, a couple more reps, you know, I'll be really good at it. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, you know, any team out there, I'm ready to go. So, uh, did, did you talk to him at all? Yes, sir, yeah. I, I've talked to every team. You did? Yes, sir. Uh, informal, yeah. Do you have any formal setup? Any formal setup? Yeah, I've had a couple. Uh, I went, met with the uh, Buccaneers yesterday. I have three more tomorrow. Yeah, you know, uh, Lynn made it easy for us. You know, he's an athletic guy. Um, when he has the ball in his hand, anything can happen, you know. So he made our job look easy. We opened up a small hole. He busted it through for a 50-yard touchdown. So, uh, you know, nothing but respect for Lynn, and uh, it was a great season for us. You got some guys in the NFL that you kind of model yourself after? Yeah, I really like Taylor Lewan from the Titans. You know, I think he is a mean guy. You know, he obviously plays well. He's great technique-wise. He's highly respected in the league, and uh, I look up to him. What's your background? What other sports did you play growing up? Yes, yeah, so I grew up with baseball, football, and basketball. And then uh, when I got to high school, I dropped uh, baseball and basketball, stuck to football. Ended up picking uh, up shot putting disc junior and senior year of high school. Um, other than that, it was football. Baseball is first base pitcher and catcher. Yeah, the typical big guy positions. <laughs> did, uh, did you have an NFL team you cheered for growing up? Uh, not really. I mean, probably Titans. You know, I'm in North Alabama, so I'm closest to Nashville. Logan, you talked about getting reps in outside zone. What's the most difficult part, though, about adjusting to a scheme like 
Yeah, it's just changing your whole mental, you know. Uh, for five years, I've taught, you know, keep your hands inside, you know, drive inside out. Now we're going outside in. So, uh, you know, turning your shoulders around to the sideline, a little different than what I've been taught at Kentucky. So, just an adjustment. How, how did Kentucky prepare you for this process? Yeah, you know, Coach Schlarm is the best in the business, you know. Uh, Technique-wise, he's got me ready for this. Um, you know, and mentally as well, he's taught me the schemes very well. You know, I feel very prepared coming into informal, formal interviews, talking about football, showing that I'm a smart guy on and off the field. So uh, I think they prepared me very well. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's the main goal for every uh, college athlete. You know, they want to play in the NFL. So, uh, you know, they, they like to flash their uh, pretty facilities, this and that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, we're going to get you better. We're going to get you ready for the next level and, you know, go on and make your dream come true. Do you think this is the beginning? Yeah, you know, he, he didn't really lay it out year by year, but it was just, hey, man, you come to Kentucky, we're going to give you the best chance possible to succeed. And, uh, you know, that's what happened. Do you think it's the beginning of, of an OL pipeline at Kentucky? When you Say look again, at, sorry? you think it's the beginning of an OL pipeline to the NFL at Kentucky when you look at Landon, Drake, Yeah, I'm going to tell you, Kinnard. I mean, the next two years, me and then uh, next year, we're going to have some great guys. Uh, Darren Kennard as well, you, you, you missed out on. But we got Drake, Landon, Darren coming out next year. They're going to be great prospects, um, incredible players. So uh, I think Kentucky's going to be a, a great place for offensive linemen who want to go play. What did things change for you guys last year when Ben came in to play quarterback? I mean, you know he played two or seven earlier in his career, but just as an offense and as a blocker, not a, a full-time quarterback quarterback, how did that change it for you guys? Yeah, it was an adjustment mentally, but uh, other than that, you know, it was the same thing. You know, we're still blocking. We're still trying to open up holes for the guy behind us. So, uh, you know, men mentality wasn't different, just personnel was. So uh, we went out there, tried to do the same thing, open up holes for Lynn, and he was hitting them hard, so it worked out well for us. What's it like to block for a guy like that who seems like he doesn't have to be anywhere at any given time, and doesn't have to take off kind of free that thing? Yeah, you know, it makes us look good. You know, if we get beat or something, he can pop it outside real quick, and it looks designed. So, uh, you know, it, it, he's really he's really fun to block for, and uh, nothing but respect. Did any of it surprise you at all, like the amount of success that he was going to have in like, the toughest defensive Yeah, not surprising at all. I don't know if you've met Lynn, but he's just a competitor, you know. I think he's going to be successful at anything he does in life, and uh, just past year just happened to be quarterback. Logan, have you had any meetings with Elaine Puffins? Uh, just informal, no formals. What was their message to you during that meeting? Yeah, you know, really it's just been kind of the same throughout the, throughout the league. Just they love the toughness, love the meanness, but uh, got to reel it in. Other than that, they love how I play, and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. From the senior role of training, how do you feel like you've gotten better since the season ended? Yeah, you know, I feel like I'm just more consistent with my technique. You know, my hands are inside, my feet are where they're supposed to be. I'm putting my body in good positions. Um, I'm not just going out there trying to maul people. So, uh, really, technique-wise, I think is where I'm taking that next step. I'm sure you'll tell me it doesn't matter, but really, about moving to your left versus moving to your right, what would you prefer to do? Yeah, honestly, I feel comfortable at left guard. You know, right guard isn't a big adjustment for me. Center would be the biggest adjustment uh, right now. I've snapped uh, for two years, but never any game reps. So uh, left to right guard's all right. Center would be an adjustment. Yeah, so, uh, you know, interior offensive line, just left, right guard, center is what they're wanting me at. Now you, uh, you mentioned Taylor Lewan. You mentioned you grew up watching the Titans. Have you met with the Titans at all? I have, yeah. I met with them last night. Just there. It was a good interview. You know, we talked about just scheme and just kind of getting to know each other. I didn't meet with them much at the Senior Bowl, so it was kind of just uh, base information. Uh, it's been pretty pretty vanilla here so far, to be honest with you. It's been, uh, you know, football-related. That's it. At Senior Bowl, I was getting kind of uh, off-the-cuff questions, but here it's been uh, very vanilla. Yeah, just uh, trying to give me, say, weird things. I feel like, you know, uh, what's your favorite color? What's your favorite flavor Pop-Tart or stuff like that? So just random stuff. What is your favorite plan for Pop Tart? Uh, I'm a chocolate fudge guy. Have you met with uh, Pittsburgh at all? Uh, yes, sir. Informal, not formal. Have you met formally with Pittsburgh yet? No, I think that is who I have on Thursday. Now, you, we you talked about the guys that could be coming out next year on the offensive line. What do you, what do you think this Kentucky team can do in, in 2020? I think the sky's the limit, you know. We got Terry coming back. We got uh, we got great weapons there, and uh, we're ready to play. Uh, you know, we got great offensive line returning, a lot of uh, a lot of depth, a lot of snaps in their arsenal. So I think the sky's the limit. Defense is going to be great as well. We got DeAndre Square and a great defensive line. So looking forward to it. I don't know.
it's crazy, you know, you uh, meet a lot of people from different walks of life here, so it's been fun kind of meeting the guys and uh, going through the same thing that you're going through, but coming from different areas, so it's fun. Not much, I mean, I'll be honest with you, we've been just so busy. It's been go, 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 you know, and if we're not going, we're sleeping, so. What part of this process is fun and what part is stressful? Uh, it's all pretty fun, you know, it's all new. I've never been in Indianapolis, so this is fun. Talking to you guys, obviously, is enjoyable. So, uh, you know, the stressful part is just uh, testing. You know, you got numbers you want to hit, and uh, whether you hit those or not, it could be a good day, bad day. So it all just depends. That's, that could be stressful. What's your goal for bench, your number? I'm not benching. Hurt my AC joint at the Senior Bowl. Okay. Yeah, I'm in Lexington training. Man, you know, I uh, have a house right next to Drake's and Malone's, and I hit that up probably weekly, so uh, that'll be my, that'll be what I miss the most. Are you still going to be able to run inside? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Everything but bench. <sighs> yeah, AC joint's feeling good. You know, I messed up at the senior bowl. Went back, rehabbed it. Feeling good now. I just haven't been able to train my chest the way I wanted to the past month, so uh, we're going to do the uh, bench at pro day. Give me another couple weeks to train on it. Yeah, I believe uh, Lynn's obviously going to go through the pro day. We're going to have Calvin Taylor, Maud Wagner, uh, JG, uh, Mason Wolf, Cash Daniel. Um, that's who I'll, I'll get. Uh, TJ Carter. I think that's it. Yeah, you know, yeah, you look at Ahmad, and he's got the body to do anything he wants to do. So uh, I think he's going to be a guy that really uh, jumps up the charts on his pro day. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. Awesome. Appreciate it, Dave. Thanks, Logan.